Love that little Ford. Beautiful machine. And right about there. Good. All right. Hook that up. Lift her up. All right. It's a little bit heavy, but you should be fine. All right. So we got everybody down here. Let's go and get some bailing done. Today we're going to do a different, a different style of uh, silage bale rolling. Because we're playing multiplayer, we've all got our little tractors on here. And uh, Mr. Moose, uh, are you going to need to go around the building with yours, or are you able to pull right out? I'm good to go. Go for it. You're the first one in the field. You're bailing. So, laters. All right, I'm going to back up now. So I'll be bail chaser. Let's see here. And uh, maybe add a little bit of weight to the back. Whoop, no, that's the handbrake. How do I add a bit of weight here? Is it the B button? B button, X button, nope. Gonna have to check that out. You wanna start uh, closest field to us and work our way out? Um. You know what? Yeah, let's go up to the top. Let's go to the to the uh, the second field, and then we can uh, we can end near the fence on this side. Okay. Gonna have to come back and uh, and refertilize all that grass anyway. The good news is I got my plow credit. Yeah. You can uh, weed it right now, eh? That'll give you fertilization without buying fertilizer. That's true, yeah. Do you, oh, you've got a weeder up at the, the sheep farm, right? I have right? a weeder up at the sheep farm. Uh, yeah. Then we are definitely doing that. If we have already if we already own the equipment, we're definitely weeding it first. We'll get it weeded, Chicken, and then I'll yeah. uh, I'll shoot it with some uh, some pesticides or some, uh, some liquid fert later to get it all sorted out. All can right. I get in up by the castle here? Uh, no. Well, you can't actually, uh, they don't like us using that path, but if you go all the way up and around that rock, you should be able to, uh, to get in from the top side. You just gotta jump the berm. Hang on a second. I gotta gear down to get over this hump. There's a very, very small little gate right here at the very bottom of the field, but it's got a absolutely insane hump on it, so sometimes it's not possible to do it. I'm in. Beautiful. Looks like we got a fair amount of grass in here. Yeah, it's heavy. Alright, let's see here. Ziki. Is this my Ziki here? Yeah, it's my Ziki. And to remove a weight is the X key. Good. All set. Sorry. Get my weight sorted out. All right. So yeah. So where you are down there, Alan, we'll uh, we'll stack them up against that fence yeah. down there, and it'll be easy to get to. Although now that I see that giant hump at the, hmm. yeah, we'll st we'll start down there. All right, go for it. Let's get the operation on the go. Oh, you already got one out. Wow. All right, this is gonna. Oh, did I not win row up here? Oh no. Okay. Hate it when I do that. All right. Little bit of lag. Got three tractors and a lot of equipment working in the same field, so this may be a challenge. Where are you at? There you are. Let's see here. Whoa! Oh. Hang on. Come on, back it up. Drop my bail. Uh, 
Watch out, I got spikes. Man, I'll get it in there. Alright, let's see here. Let's see if I can do this properly. Alright, and then up onto here. There we goes. Good. Alright, next one. We'll get the we'll get a pace going at some point. Right now with three tractors, we're gonna be in each other's way for a little bit. Actually, Moose, if you can bail the stuff at the bottom of the field to start with, then we'll uh, we'll have that all open for uh, bailing operations without interfering with you too much. Yep. There we go. And down I come. I love that old Massey baler. Beautifully done. And load up Allen. There he goes. Good. Probably shouldn't grab them from the side like that. Can end up breaking the mesh. Although they are going to get wrapped anyway, so it'll certainly reinforce them. Wow, okay, good. There we go. This is nice, this way they get wrapped super fresh. Oh yeah. The highest of quality this. Exactly. Should be able to get top dollar. So I'm not sure, I think we're gonna keep some of these for ourselves, Alan. I was, uh, yeah. I was checking out my contracts and I think that some of them are gonna get sold over to Oakfield to, um, Oakfield Farms, and then uh, I got a contract with the with the horsey people down in the other valley. So I'm going to get them. I think I'm going to give them our small bales, and we're going to grab some big bales from the cat from the sheep operation, and we'll put those into the cattle operation. That shouldn't be a problem. I think we'll have lots for the sheep. Yeah, you've been mowing over there too, right? So we can probably get those bales yeah. up pretty quick too. Yeah, they just have to be wind road and they'll be yeah. ready to go. Probably this afternoon I'll have them ready to go. There you go. And you're doing square bales over there too, so. Yep. I'm debating whether or not to make my, uh, my straw round bales too, or at least some round bales, because I've got a nice little straw shooter that's, that hangs off the three point. So, whoops. Yeah. I got that. So I will, uh, yeah, that's all right. It'll stop eventually, right? It's gonna hit that fence eventually. Yeah, that's all right, I got him. Interception. I feel like these forks are a little derpy. Like sometimes, somehow the physics on them kind of pushes the bales off, like they're too slippery. I don't know. Yeah. But I should probably uh, curl back it, curl it back towards me a bit more too when I'm traveling, because half yeah, of it might just be the don't. yeah, half of it might just be the angle of the field too, right? So, so I'm not in the zone. Whoops, and back, back in here. here. You go. There you go, right there. So it should auto load, or do you have to unload it? It's all unloaded. Hmm. I'll let you sort that one out. 
Is it a? Is it because it's straw? No. Or it's hay? No. Hmm. No, it's on grass. Okay. There we go. Got her in. Yeah, I got her in. Good. Pick one of them up and impact. Nope. Nope, that's not gonna do. Back up. Pick it up. There we go. That'll do it. Come on, all the way in. All the way in. There we go. Racing bales around the field. Actually, Moose, if you want to do the field down, if you want to do the bales down at this end, I feel it'll be a lot less uh, jockeying around. And maybe we can do two piles of silage bales, one at the bottom of the field and one at the top. Yep, I'm just finishing the headland. And then oh, okay. Start down there. Oh, dropped it. Don't want to be driving over your grass. All right. Ah! Reverse gear. Right. The downhill on this uh, section of the field is pretty aggressive. It is, yeah. Alright. So when you load that uh, wrapper, is it you who's loading it or is it just the trigger? It just triggers. The only thing I do is unload it and move forward about three feet. Okay. Wow, we're going to get a lot of bales off this field. Let's see if I can get this one right. Come on. There you go. All right. Bit more weight on the back, I feel. And dropped it again. Yeah, definitely these forks are a bit derpy. Yeah, they don't seem to tip up quite enough or something. Yeah. But I think the actual uh, physics on the on the spikes themselves might be a little weird yeah, too. They like, might be a little off. Yeah, because it looks like they're kind of poking through, and then they um, they also do a weird thing where they seem to be walking off. The bales are like walking off the uh, the spikes. There we go. They're the ones from the uh, the Vultra pack, so they may not be uh, all the way up to stuff. Do like doing bail work with a small tractor, though. <laughs> huh? It's kind of funny, eh? They're not—they're uh, not settling on their uh, on their sides very well. No, not at all. Do you, uh, is there a position that you have to be in for the, um, for the, uh, what do you call it, the, can you, can you use your joystick to move the, um, oops, to move the, the unloader? I can, to one side or the other. Really, eh? That's about it. Okay. See if I can load this thing properly. And on we go. Come on, load. Hmm. Am I just not finding the trigger or? Yeah, it's back closer to the uh, unload point, I think. Okay. 
I'll let you handle that one then. funny eh? because on the last one I kind of felt like it was um, like the trigger was uh, floating above it yeah it's above it and behind it some I think yeah I think it's the slope that's causing it to not uh, unload the way we think it should. Really, eh? Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can come at it. It's getting ready to, and then it starts rolling downhill, and it yeah. rolls right out. Let's see if I can load it from this angle over here. Hmm. Just waving it around. Waving it around. I think it has to be close to the right angle when it goes in, though. You think so? Yeah, it seems like that's the ones that get picked up better. Okay, let's give that a shot then. Does that come towards me a bit? Nope. Leave that one to you again. Taking it. Hmm, not taking it, eh? Doesn't seem to want to. Okay. Does it not have to be on the ground? The no. marker? Nope, it doesn't. It won't unload if it's on the ground. Oh, okay. Well, actually, if it's on the ground, it may it may stop it from rolling so much. Yeah. No, they stick on it when they're on the ground. They tried that there first. There you go. You got one there. Okay, I'll let you handle that yeah. one too then. Actually, let me do... I want to put this one here on properly. Let's see if it's on the ground if they if they tip over to the side properly. Nope. I got a runner. Come on. Okay. Gotcha. All right, and she goes and got her. All right, let's see if this one loads now. Well, can't get it much more into the tip area than that. Hmm. It's funny, eh, how sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Like, if it just didn't work, it would be uh, easier to take, but uh, the fact that it's hit, hit and miss is weird.
No other buttons or instructions or... No. Basically right in there. Nope. Well, we may have to return that machine and go and get uh, something different to run it. Come on, up you go. Oops, I'm on top of it. Feel like I'm mating with the bale. Come on. Nope, hang on a second. My problem is I have too much weight on the back. There you go, that'll help. There we go. Pick him up. Oh, nope. Too far forward. Roll back. There we go. Up she comes. Okay, you get it figured out or? Not really. Is it just hit and miss? Oh, I see that would work I fine. I think it's just, yeah, I think if you come in about that height, just above the back aways, right. it's too empty, but. Okay. Let's see if we can get two in a row. If not, we're just gonna have to order the, uh, the McHale version of that. can't really afford to take a uh, piece of equipment we can't work with because we're eventually going to have to go and do the big fields over by the cattle farm, so... Yeah. Let's see if I can just glance it by here. There it is. Okay. Alright, so that's where the trigger is. It's kind of off and uh, to the right a bit. Try not to hit the baler on my way back up the hill. Whoops, didn't see you. Alright, there we go. I feel like we've got enough bales down here, uh, Alan. Maybe I'll give you two or three more down here, and then we'll move this up, we'll move you up to the top to get you okay. to uh, make a second stack. There it is. I'm just going to grab the, uh, the a couple of bales down near the fence over here. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of bales. Oops. There's about 14 here right now. Really, eh? So we'll probably get 40 bales out of these, uh, these two fields then. Yeah, probably. So unload that one, and then uh, I'll meet you at the top of the field. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know if there's a flat area up there that uh, we can safely unload them, but we'll try to find one. Yeah, I think we could do it in this corner of all the way at the top here. There's a little corner. Looks pretty flat. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I totally didn't wind road this end of the field. Sorry, Moose. It's all good. These windrows are almost too big for this Maxi anyway. Are they? Yeah, it's really bogging down. Hmm. Combination of the wet crop, probably, and the yeah. relatively large windrows. But I'm just crawling along, trying not to plug it up. Good. Well, you're more than keeping ahead of us, so that'll probably be fine. ahead a bit see if we can find that sweet spot sweet spot again a uh, little bit forward a little bit forward right there okay so if I come at it from somewhere around here there it is Wow, it's far back now. Yeah, it's moving around, I think. That's pretty insane. I don't know what would be causing that. If it would be the angles of the field, or like the slope would have an effect on it, or... It might affect the height of the, the trigger. Yeah. Do you want to drop it down on the ground again, the, uh, the, the wrapper? See if I can get this guy in his own. Where's the trigger? Where's the trigger? Where's the trigger? The last one was way back here. There it is. It's actually behind the unloader. That's just bizarre. It is. roll. Done. Thank you. <laughs> you saw nothing. I saw nothing. No one saw <laughs> nothing. All right. Well, on that note, we are at the 30 minute mark of my recording. So I'm going to let you guys go. If you've made it to the end and seen me do a 360 roll in my tractor, leave a comment down below. That was planned, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Mr. Moose. That's awesome. We're we're uh, we're gonna let the viewers go, but we got a we got a couple more fields to bail here. So get back at work. Bye.